Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Monday, 27th March, 2017. I'm Fredicia Liburd. The Nevis Island Administration, Ministry of Tourism and Industry Partners were jolted last evening as news spread about the sudden passing of Permanent Secretary Carl Williams. Williams has been leading the Ministry of Tourism since January 1st, 2015, having joined the Ministry of on September 1, 2008, as Assistant Secretary. At the time of his passing, Williams had direct responsibility for the Ministry of Tourism, Culture, Culturama and Information. Williams, a career civil servant for more than 30 years, previously served as a teacher and head teacher before making the transition from education to tourism. Williams was the husband of the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, Minister of Social Development in the Nevis Island Administration. We here at the Nevis Newscast express our solidarity with the family, friends, staff, and associates of Williams in this very difficult time. You can say that he was a model public servant. He worked hard. He was a man of tremendous humility. He was always very helpful, full of ideas, full of passion for the job and for Nevis. And uh, it was truly, truly devastating for all of us to hear of his sudden passing. I would like on behalf of the Ministry of Tourism and Culture, which I'm privileged to lead, the Nevis Information uh, Department, NTV, and all of us who work so closely with Mr. Williams to extend our very, very deepest gratitude for his service and our deepest condolences to his wife Hazel, his children, his sister Margaret, whom I know well, his extended family, and to say that his shoes are going to be very difficult to fill. He was really a man among men, truly a phenomenal human being. I counted him as a friend, I counted him as a fellow Gingerlander, I counted him as a trusted, trusted permanent secretary. And he did incredible work and incredible service for the people of Nevis. That was the Honorable Mark Brantley. Investigators from the Violent Crimes Unit, VCU, and officers of Police Division C. Nevis are investigating a shooting incident in Cotton Ground that occurred about 4 p.m. on Sunday, 26th March. The incident resulted in the death of a 23-year-old male, Randall Chapman, resident of Rollins Village. Initial investigations revealed that the victim was shot by unknown assailants while at a cricket match at the Cotton Ground playing field. Police from the Cotton Ground Police Station responded to the scene upon notification. The scene was processed by the Forensic Services Unit. The investigation continues. Head of the Nevis Division, Superintendent Trevor Mills encourages persons who are in the area and may have seen the incident to report what they saw to the police. He said persons can do so by calling any police station, by calling Crime Stoppers at 1-800-8477 or by using the SKN Crime Reporter app on their smartphone. Superintendent Mills added, I encourage the public, if you see something, say something. The Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis is again mourning the loss of a giant and former governor. Just two days after laying to rest former Governor Sir Probin Innes, the Federation is once again in deep mourning as St. Kitts and Nevis's second Governor General, Sir Cuthbert Montreville Sebastian, has passed away at his home on Saturday evening, March 25th, 2017. Sir Cuthbert Montreville Sebastian was the Governor General of St. Kitts and Nevis from 1996 to 2013. He was appointed Governor General in 1995 and was sworn in on January 1, 1996. While in office, he was the world's oldest de facto head of state. His retirement was announced on 25 December 2012 and became effective on January 1, 2013. He has served in St. Kitts, Nevis, and Anguilla as pupil teacher, learner, dispenser, chemist, and druggist, laboratory technician, senior dispenser, medical superintendent, and obstetrician gynecologist. 
He was Chief Medical Officer of St. Kitts and Nevis from 1980 to 1983. During the period 1962 to 1966, he pursued training at the Dundee Royal Infirmary, Scotland in obstetrics and gynecology. Sebastian was a rear gunner during World War II in the Royal Canadian Air Force, captain in the St. Kitts Nevis Defence Force, local physician to His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, when His Highness visited St. Kitts in 1973. In addition, he was ADC to the St. Christopher Nevis Anguilla Premier Robert Llewellyn Bradshaw when Bradshaw went to Buckingham Palace on the occasion of Her Majesty's 25th year on the throne. We here at the Department of Information would like to express our deepest sympathy to the family of Sir Cuthbert Montreville Sebastian. Still to come. There's just a really amazing feeling standing here finishing the swim, having done it, and, and just a sense of achievement that I feel having finished it. The details are after this break. As a responsible taxpayer, you help to finance free health care at all health centers on Nevis. Thank you for putting country above self. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. The Small Business Forum hosted by the Nevis Island Administration, Ministry of Finance and the Small Enterprise Development Unit, SIDU, that took place at the St. Paul's Anglican Church Hall, had as its featured speaker, owner and manager of SKN Homes, Farron Lawrence. Lawrence spoke on the theme of the symposium, Small Business, Big Opportunities, and gave advice to the gathering. Money is the end result, but that's not what you must be in business for directly. Business is about solutions. Somebody come to you because they have a problem. They need something done. Something they need to get done, they can't get done. Your job is to provide solutions. And once you take that approach to business, provide solutions, build relationships. Okay, focus on the relationship. The relationship will bring the money. The money will not bring the relationship. And if you focus on what your, what your clients need, you focus on what your customer need, and you are, you, you know, you're going all the way to satisfy that need, then you would realize that customer is only too happy and anxious to pay you. He also emphasized that professionalism is key to managing your own business. The professionalism is important because when you're professional, you build trust. You build credibility. Somebody knows that, okay, if Mr. Lawrence says Thursday at two, I could bet my life on Thursday at two. See, because some of us don't realize, if you tell your client Thursday at two, that client is using that deadline you gave them to make a deadline with somebody else. And so when you do not perform, you throw off, it's a domino effect down the road. That person looks unprofessional to the next person who may look unprofessional to the other person. And so we have to understand that. And if we understand that, I think we will, we will go out of the way to make sure that we are professional and we can be trusted even with, in relation to whatever we have to do. The forum also saw presentations by Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance, Colin Doerr, and Premier and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Vance Amory. Awards were also presented to small business owners. The annual Benty Weber Memorial Cross Channel Swim took place yesterday, March 26, 2017. The event, which is in its 15th year, has a swim distance of 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers and starts from Orly Beach on Nevis, ending across the Narrows at Cockleshell Beach on St. Kitts. The event continues to be a significant draw for the Nevis Tourism Authority and Chief Executive Officer Greg Phillip was very happy. Yeah, when we think about Nevis, one of the things that has always been a part of the Nevis's annual calendar is all these sporting events in the cross-channel swim. I guess now we have to call it the premier 
international sporting event that's held on Nevis. So yeah, it's critical to Nevis and its calendar, not just in the fact that it brings people to Nevis, but also the fact that it is such a good part of what we use to market the island. It builds awareness of the island that we have something as unique as this. It's a good tie into the fact that we are Sink It's and Nevis. It's the only event that we have that really straddles and brings the two islands together in a natural way. Having started a little later than scheduled, an estimated 158 persons took to the waters to make the morning swim. Among them were three former Olympians who incidentally broke the course record, placing in the top three. The winner was 36-year-old Ashley of the United States in a time of 55 minutes and 28 seconds. Second was 49-year-old Gregory White in a time of 55 minutes and 49 seconds. Third was 29-year-old Kerry Ann Payne in a time of 56 minutes and 17 seconds. And fourth placer was 36-year-old Kevin Pullman in a time of 57 minutes and 16 seconds. We spoke to the second and third placers about their experience. Obviously it's warm, it's crystal clear, but the, the wildlife that joins you out there is amazing. So I, I had turtles swimming with me, there were rays, there were the spotted rays, fish everywhere. And, and just about the entire way across you could actually see the bottom. So it was amazing. That said, it was big. The sea was big. Mid-channel, mid actually, there were some big waves and, and you've been pushed about a lot, but absolutely incredible incredible experience. There's just a really amazing feeling standing here finishing the swim having done it and, and just the sense of achievement that I feel having finished it but actually just taking five seconds to appreciate the perspective of being in the water which you, you can't get anywhere else other than in the water. So I'm a big advocate and big believer in helping people and inspiring people to learn how to swim and it's, it's amazing isn't it that First, second and third, uh, we just had this discussion, uh, have all been to the Olympics, so all three of us, so it's a really competitive race this year. The previous course record was 58 minutes and 9 seconds set by Oliver Masso in 2014. This year, the organizers partnered with the St. Kitts and Nevis Special Olympics group to raise awareness and funds for this important sporting project. With just a few days shy of the 2017 edition of Agriculture Open Day slated for Thursday 30th and Friday 31st March at the Villa Grounds in Charlestown, Supervisor of the Propagation Unit at the Department of Agriculture, Rhonda Vifus, outlined the items that would be on sale for the Open Day. Mulberry trees, those went very well last year. Customers were even complaining, said that I gave false advertisement. <laughs> I said I have a lot of mulberry and I did not. Well, this year, as you can see, we have a lot of mulberry. We will have carambola grafted and ungrafted plants. We will have amri poly trees, long mango trees, julie mango, also known as a grafted mango. We will have graham, pomegranate, guavas, limes. Those are some of the fruit trees. We will have, um, for the culinary herbs, we will have rosemary, oregano, celery, basil, and a variety of other um, mints and, and so forth we will have available. Most of our fruit trees are either grafted, budded, or ear -layered. And as long as they're grafted, budded, or ear we sell them for $30. The ungrafted trees, we sell them for $15. The culinary herbs, they range in prices from $10 to $20. Vifus also spoke about the variety of seedlings that will be on sale. Sweet peppers, seasoned peppers, cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, lettuce, watermelon, cucumbers, and eggplant. We will also have the dollar seedlings because I know customers go very well for those. And there's one single seedling and it will be selling for one dollar. We also have basil this year. We normally don't do basil in trays or in um, single, single arm form, but we have the single basil. Those will be going for a dollar. We have the tray of basil that will be going for $30. And we also have basil in the pots that are going for $10. She stated that the trays for the seedlings are normally $30 and consists of 73 seedlings. Vifus also encouraged persons to support the Agriculture Open Day, which is being held under the theme Embracing Climate Smart Agriculture to Achieve Greater Food Security. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.